when last night I got the call, the passing of one of my family members, I broke down and cried. Because I lost a family member. He's a Laker, as we all are. But I felt that last night. And I remember that conversation with that mom. And you know, I, she was proud of, of her son being here, as I am so proud to be part of you all. And I know that we were able to share that bond. It, it, it's a, maybe a silly game, but you know it's the, it's the camaraderie that we have together. I've been known to lace up my sneakers every so often and uh, play down to the wreck uh, myself. When I heard uh, of this tragedy last night, I, I couldn't picture Shane, but when I saw the picture this morning, I said, I think you blocked one of my shots. Remember that life is short. I, I, I've lived 58 years, and I've had an opportunity to see a lot in my life, but yet it's still very, very short compared to the overall scheme of things. And you're still just on the precipice of life. Don't miss it. Don't waste your time. Because time is precious. This time that you have here in school, this time that you have with making friends, make the most of every single moment. Tomorrow is not promised to you. Though we make plans for tomorrow and next week, we want to graduate and all these other kinds of things, it's not promised. And what we have to do is we have to live today as if it is our left. In the very scheme of things, whether you live 21 or 65, that's your life. And the question you have to ask yourself is, as your life goes by, what kind of fragrance will you leave? For Shane only lived 21 years, but his life left a sweet smelling savor in the lives of those that he touched. Because the truth of the matter is, life for you and life for me is nothing but a baby. God bless you.